The Baba Duke. This film, a lot of people are like praising it being really great and everything. Um, yeah. This is uh, from E1 Entertainment. It was released July or January 17th, 2014. It stars S.C. Davis. Uh, it's produced by Christina Caton. Uh, and it was written and directed by Jennifer Ken, who's also done like the night truck. The Nightingale and Two Twisted. It had a $2 million budget and it made about $10.3 million. So it made like a decent profit at least. Um, it's sort of like an arts film, independent film. Um, I pretty much did like, I think I did like the Sundance Film Festival and stuff like that. And then got like worldwide release. It's like, based in like Australia. So yeah. Um, but basically, the Bob Dukes, if you haven't heard of it, it's a. Uh, this uh, single mother coping with her husband's loss five years later and their crazy kid who uh, can't behave at all, gets kicked out of school and everything. So, and she reads some stories that, to calm them down at night. And then she gets this weird new pop-up book shows up on their front desk and or front porch. And uh, yeah, she sits there and reads it to him and it summons like an evil darkness demon sort of thing. Uh, into their home, but you don't know if it's an actual demon or if it's just the mother going insane from all the stress and problems that she's having. Um, so, yeah, and it's basically a descent into madness. Um, yeah, so, for the most part, it's okay, I thought. It wasn't, like, the greatest film. Um, a lot of people praise this thing, it's awesome and stuff. I thought it was okay at best. Um... That was actually pretty boring for half the film. Um, it has the most annoying young kid in it with the most screechy, annoying voice there. Um, but S.C. Davis does a great job playing uh, the mother role. It's uh, probably challenging acting like that, playing going insane and stuff like that. And of course, there's a scene in the trailer where it's like, I am your mother. That's like the best scene in the whole movie. <laughs> it's very dark and creepy. Uh, it has... The creature you don't really see very much, which is a good thing, but it's also annoying. Um, and, uh, yeah, just has this weird, like, um, disturbing aspect to it. Um, but it has, like, it's weird because it, it'll come and have your typical, like, monster growl that you know the sound of it. It's like a bird lion and something else mixed together, and it makes this weird screeching that you hear in every type of B-movie and stuff, and, uh, I thought that was really annoying, uh, to hear that constantly, uh, but I like how it, it has, like, an inward breathing, like, and it says its name, the Babadook, yeah, uh, I thought that was pretty interesting, um, but overall, it was, the story's kind of weak, I gotta say, the writing was not there, I think this is, like, I don't know, it just wasn't there for me. I didn't get into it. I didn't think it was absolutely amazing or anything. Like I thought it was all right. It's a good beginner horror film, I'd say. Like, someone who doesn't really watch horror films could probably sit through this. And, um, yeah. It was just okay. There's not much really to complain about. Besides, a really annoying kid and annoying side characters. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. There's something about it I just don't like. And, uh, it was just, like, all over the place, I thought. Like, you didn't really get clear explanations for most of it. Most of it was just left to your imagination. It was all right, but still. Um, yeah, there's not really much to go on. Um, so, like, I'm right in the middle with this one. I don't really know if I like it or I hate it. <laughs> um, but all I can say is, all right, Etsy Davis acting is pretty good. Um, the cinematography is well done. It's done more in, like, an arts film sort of look, which I thought was nice and refreshing better than just having your jump scares everywhere and stuff like that so but if i was gonna rate it, i'd probably have to give this a 2.5 out of 5 like i can't i'm right on the line i can't do it it's definitely not as bad and boring as hereditary but it's definitely um still not the best one like i don't know for some reason when people praise movies i absolutely hate most of them so yeah but yeah babadook okay in my book Definitely nothing to grape about though. I've seen way better, way more decent stuff. Like I'll, I'd much rather sit down and watch like The Conjure and all that. Or even Annabelle was better, I thought, than this. So that says a lot for most people who hate that. Most people is opposite. But yeah, 
So, Papa Duke, it's okay to watch once in a while. But yeah, this is my second time sitting through it, and I didn't like it the first time, and wasn't too thrilled the second time. So, yeah, it is what it is. 2.5 out of 5 for me. Trailer's linked down below if you haven't heard of this. Um, yeah, Instagram's linked down below, too, where I always post clips of my of uh, films I'm going to watch and re I'm watching and re going to review on my story, so make sure you follow me there. Make sure you like this video, comment, share it. Comment down below if you've seen this, let me know what you thought. Share this video so more people can hear my interesting opinions about films. And comment down below other f horror films you want to hear my opinions on in the future. Love to hear what you want to see, so comment those down below too. Make sure you subscribe, and yeah. I got a whole pile of other crazy stuff planned to watch next, so, yeah. But, now I'm actually going to read a pop-up book, and hopefully I can actually sum up a demon that will actually entertain me. So, I'll see you in the next.